Yo, 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 it's your boy Nick Che. Maybe I need a new intro because I've been using that for too long. But today we are doing my entire shoe collection. I've been waiting to do this for a while now, but it's finally here. It took me a little bit of time to get everything together, but I'm excited to share my sneaker collection with you. Now heads up, I'm not really a huge sneaker head. I just like fashion and you know, obviously shoes are a big part of someone's fashion and their style and their outfits. So I tend to collect a lot of shoes because I have a lot of different outfits and also I have a lot of different styles Styles. Everything I say in this video might not pertain to your particular style, but I hope that there are a couple of styles and shoes that will fit you as well. Now, some of these are pretty unisex, so ladies, like, don't be afraid to cop a pair. You know, you gotta flex what your boys flex, and you know what I'm saying? So let's just hop into it. Now thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Now if you don't know, Squarespace is the go-to tool when it comes to website design because they have dozens of beautiful templates for photography, graphic design, portfolios, and more. I've been hosting my website on Squarespace for the past two to three years now and it honestly lands me so many more clients having a professional looking portfolio where people can look through your images. It's also got a great integrated e-commerce platform, meaning that I can start selling my LUTs, my presets, or any type of product that I want to sell online. The great thing about Squarespace is its flexibility and customizability so you don't need any coding to make your website look beautiful. Now, if you've been waiting to make a website for a while now, there's no better place to do it than Squarespace. So make sure to use my code NickChay for 10% off your first domain purchase. Okay, maybe I will we'll go from the simplest shoes to kind of the more hypey shoes. But my first off are these from New Look. They are my classic OG just white shoes. Now, I pair these with a bunch of different outfits because a pair of white clean leather shoes are a must have for any guy, any girl, because they will honestly just take your outfit to another level. It's simple, it's modern, it's aesthetic, and once again, just applies to a bunch of different outfits. So I have these, they're from New Look. And like, honestly, if you find a good pair on ASOS or Zara, like they can run you for, you know, even like $20, $30. And since they are so cheap, you can, you know, beat them up, get them rugged and also just get a new pair. Now, obviously these are much more beat up, but I call these my going out shoes. Anytime I know that my shoes are just gonna get destroyed or muddy, I will wear these because they're comfortable and also will still look stylish with a bunch of different outfits. Kind of some OGs. I've had these for a couple years now. I got them back in high school, but they are the the Adidas Stan Smith Prime Knit. Now the reason I like these are because they are, like the name says, Prime Knit material, meaning that it's not the traditional Stan Smith's leather. Um, and I think it's just a little bit more versatile and also a great summer and spring shoe because it's very light and doesn't weigh down your foot so much as the leather Stan Smith. So these are also a great cop. They're not too expensive, probably like $40, $50 at this point. So if you don't have a pair of Stan Smith's, like these aren't a bad pair to get you started. Obviously another OG, a must have, the high top combo. Now, Converse have been around for decades. They are a staple for just about any guy's wardrobe because they look good with everything and you can't go wrong with a high top pair in white. These are obviously pretty dirty and I do need to get them clean or just get a new pair. These go really well with a bunch of casual outfits. I think jeans are a usual go-to. Now, one of my more recent pickups and something that I had been eyeing and finally got around to copying are these bad boys. Now, these are the Adidas Continental 80s. You might have seen them around on a bunch of different people's Instagram because they have been pretty hype lately. Now, they do look similar to the Yeezy Calabasas, and the reason I didn't go for the Calabasas is because I genuinely think these are just a better looking shoe. Like, it's got a retro vibe with the stripes running down the side, the classic trifold logo. I got it in all white so they kind of have a bunch of different colorways going on they even have like a beige an icy blue they have them in like but for me the classic whites are a go-to once again these go great with like black denim blue denim um, shorts and from all my shoes that I mentioned today, if you're gonna get one pair, it's probably these that you should pick up. And as the name suggests, they are only $80, which is honestly a steal for something that looks as good as this. Moving on to some athletic wear. These I've had for literally like three or four years and they are the Adidas Roshis. Now, if you know back in like 2016, 2017, Roshis wore the thing. Like if you didn't have a pair of Roshis, like what were you doing, bro? I miss the days when we could rock this shit and everyone would know what it is and it'd be a major flex. But um, these are my gym shoes so I go running in them I work out in them just because they're easy to slip on and they still are holding up really well so you know Nike Roshi's an OG um, and a great versatile athletic shoe for me the last OG and the reason I keep saying OG is because these are literally all just like the essentials for any guy's wardrobe if you're getting started and they are obviously Vans Vans old school um, I have them in the maroon color because 
To be honest, like maroon is a pretty unique color that can actually match well with a lot of different outfits. So you will actually probably see me rock it with this outfit right here. Like the red, blue, and green isn't a bad look. And once again, Vans old school, especially this low top version, are an essential. Like so many guys have a pair like these in either white or black. And um, having it in the maroon is just a little bit to stick out. But once again, if you don't have a pair of these, I highly recommend picking one up. Once again, Vans are not expensive at all. Maybe run you $40, $50. So if you don't have a pair, you know, look into investing in one of these. Now moving on to boots. Boots are still a staple of just about any guy's closet because they give you a little bit more of a sophisticated look. And they're also very functional. Like boots will give you an extra inch or two on your height. They're made for rain snow all types of conditions that you can really beat them up and they age better with wear now a pair of boots that i've had since middle school and high school and constantly go back to are the chukka boots chukka boots are a classic now just even by their silhouette it's just a very simple elegant sophisticated piece that will really take your outfit to the next level instead of just wearing like some regular sneakers if you throw a pair of these bad boys with like a sweater and a pullover or even like a turtleneck like girls better be hitting your dms boys so the chukka boots i have have are from Clark's now you can clearly see that they are very worn in because I literally used to wear these so much but the leather once again ages better with time so the more you wear them the better it's going to look now I haven't got around to wearing these a ton but definitely will be wearing them more often now chugga boots are a very good boot to get started but if you are already in the game then you know that boom Chelsea boots are the next investment that you need to make when I first saw Chelsea boots going around as a trend I wasn't you know a huge fan at first just because I thought they looked you know a little feminine wasn't very manly and, and I didn't think that it would look good on me but once I started trying them on and pairing them with outfits I realized like damn these are kind of like pretty fly so the reason I got it in this you know cam caramel color is that it will go well with a bunch of different formal outfits once again like if you don't have boots in a brown color then why have boots at all like they are meant to just elevate your outfit give it a little bit more sophistication like I've been saying and to wear these with you know any type of outfit really will just take your style game to the next level finally the most rugged boot I talked about this in my winter essential but this is really just for the terrain right if it's raining or snowing i know i'm gonna be wearing these bad boys because they're gonna keep my feet warm and dry now the last pair of boots and this is honestly the most recent pickup i've purchased to my boot collection and they are doc martens these are the doc martens in the low tops i can't remember the exact name they might be 1460s and now i had seen the hype around doc martens for years and i never really bought into it just because i didn't think that it would fit my style but the older i got the more i realized that these are a very sophisticated shoe that look good with just about anything and you know once i started making the transition to a little bit more street wear also just like smart casual wear that i needed to invest in a pair of doc martens and getting them in the black when i don't have any other black boot is a must have and the reason doc martens are so raved about is because the leather is amazing like, like i've worn these a fair amount of times and the leather is not creasing at all it still looks brand spanking new it's comfortable and it's durable and it's functional what else do you need in a boot now doc martens obviously aren't for everyone's style but if you are looking to up your style game i definitely recommend checking these out Birkenstocks. I am a huge fan of Birkenstocks actually because they are super comfortable, man. If you put your feet in them, they you feel like you're walking on clouds just because like the way that the the sole is built just kind of like forms to your feet very naturally. And the more you break them in, the comfortable more comfortable they get. During the summer, like these bad boys are on my feet just about 80% of the time. All right, if you made it this far in the video, congratulations because you are in for a treat. Now I'm taking you to my grail collection. Like these aren't your everyday shoes. These are, you wear them once a week with a stellar outfit because it's a flex kind of day. And boom, we're starting him off with the Sean Witherspoon 197. Now, if you're a sneakerhead at all, you know about the Sean Witherspoons because they are number one, just a beautiful shoe. Can we take a moment to appreciate this? Like corduroy, the color scheme, the way the shoe is a combination of the Nike Air Max 1 and the 97s is a crazy concept. And it's honestly like probably my favorite shoe on the market right now. When I saw them, I definitely needed to pick one up. Now I've been getting a few comments saying, oh, those are fake. Those aren't real because the corduroy isn't as bright as it should be, blah, blah, blah. Like the laces are fucked up. Let me tell you guys, like, Number one, if they are fake, they are pretty damn good fakes because I cannot tell at all and they look stylish as hell. Number two, I told you guys I got them authenticated and so, you know, it should check out and everything. But even then, like, I don't really care. They're just cool looking shoes. Like, I'm not in it for the, the hype or anything like that. Like, like, let me just wear my style, man. You don't gotta hate on me for that. Now, my most recent pickup, if you saw my January favorites video, you know that I picked these up at the Adidas Sesame Yeezy 350 V2. So, wow, that is a mouthful. Now, like I said in that video, I am not a huge Yeezy 
Yeezy fan, I never thought they looked good until I saw this colorway because the Sesame is pretty beautiful. It goes well with a bunch of different outfits and it doesn't have any of that bullshit like supply or that like terrible, you know, marking that goes through it and it just gives it a very clean silhouette. And once again, just a generally good looking shoe compared to any other shoes I have, like not just because they're Yeezys or by Kanye or whatever, but they're just really cool shoes. So I'm glad I finally picked them up. They are pretty comfortable and I am definitely going to be rocking them a little bit more when the weather clears up. You know, sneakers are kind of an essential part of your wardrobe and your fashion. So if you don't have a huge sneaker game, like don't worry. Like I used to just rock like three different pairs of shoes and just rotate them. And then when I got older, when I got when I started to have a little bit more money, I started to, you know, ball out a little bit more. So, um, you know, take time. It's not going to happen overnight. You don't need to go buy five pairs of shoes all at once. Like stick with what you have. And when you see something cool on your radar, like keep an eye out for it and save up the money and invest in it. Because, you know, having a sick pair of shoes on, number one, will get you mad compliments. People are like, dude, those are six shoes and i'm like word i know and number two you just feel good about yourself man if you got a pair of shoes that you rock that you know you look good in then like your self-confidence is going to be through the roof that's it for this video make sure you guys leave a like down below comment any more videos you guys want to see subscribe for more and as always don't stress finesse